working on the uh, Jeep Grand Cherokee here and we got a uh, big oily mess down in here. I did change the starter not long ago. I give it an oil change here with the new filter. And uh, this has always been oily and messy and dirty down in here. And if we go underneath, the oil leaks look like they're coming from uh, the oil filter adapter and it is getting onto the starter here and running down off of the end of the bell housing and also uh, if you followed it I've, I've done some wiping down here but it looked like it just followed all the way down the passenger side of the frame and uh, could have even went as far as back, dripping off of this back uh, brace back here. Uh, so we're gonna try and take off this oil filter adapter plate or whatever it is here and uh, see if we can't fix this leak. Once we got that uh, oil filter adapter out, which, uh, takes a little ingenuity. I think this is a T60 Torx socket. Had to drive that out and use a, cause there's no, there's no clearance between the frame and the end of the uh, bolt or the fastener here. So uh, T60 Torx, uh, drive that out of the socket so you could just use the end of it. Uh, use a 9 16 wrench, double wrenched with some leverage, crack it free. And then we got uh, our adapter out of here, and there is a O ring in here, and then the bolt, the fastener that goes in there. There's uh, looks to be two O rings on there to replace. Problem is, I don't know, uh, I don't know with my available O-rings, if that's gonna work, if I have something for here. So what I did was I, I took the, uh, the gasket that came off of the oil filter on this side, that's the seal there. So I took this off of the old one and uh, it might fit in there. If, uh, if I don't have the right size, it looks like that's damn close to fit in and uh, maybe fix our oil leak here. I was able to find uh, some O-rings here for the uh, fastener to replace. Hopefully that'll seal. This will be the important one on the end here to seal it from where it was leaking up the end. And uh, that oil filter gasket, I tried to, I tried to put that in there. It's awfully close to the right diameter but it's just too large won't fit in there so I just took some uh, RTV sealant and uh, put it in there with the old gasket and hopefully that'll that'll get me by until I try and find the right one and, and uh, maybe fix that later and the other thing that I did was uh, that Torx bit that uh, went in the end there I didn't uh, I mean this is pretty oddball uh, tool that you'd be using. I just welded a uh, a three eighths nut on there. This this bolt will come out. That was just to locate it, but uh, I welded this uh, three eighths nut and the bolt. Leave the bolt in there so I can take this off in the future with the uh, nine sixteenths wrench. We try and clean it up as good as we can there and and uh, reinstall this thing. There's there's a pin. <clears throat> There's a pin right here, and that locates... That pin uh, locates... It'll, the orientation will be kind of similar to this here. Uh, the pin's at the top, and that's going to locate it to uh, the position properly when you install it. Here we are with the uh, finished result, and uh, you see where I've welded that 3 8 nut on there. Uh, ease of uh, removal and installation in the future. Now all you need is a 916 wrench instead of a T60 Torx and uh, any other Rasmus Jazz. 
So we'll see, we'll see how that works, but I do believe you can see my silicone there. Uh, probably gonna end up uh, replacing that with the proper gasket, um, but I need this thing for the weekend. So I wanna try and uh, fix up all these oil leaks in this cold weather.